here on the ground very close to the fence well actually not even close at all there's the fence but uh so we got the round bills just in there just a minute ago that'll be the video before this one um they were out over there by those right there that's where the round biller used to be got a couple good spots worked in plenty of crap don't need to put any more in there um so I didn't want all the old hay sitting under there and just rotting. So what we did was we pulled our round bale holder feeder out. This thing right here, which I still need to come in. And I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to cut like this one off. Come down here and cut this one off. And then cut these two and these two. And that'll give the cows a nice square to put their head in and get grass. Um, actually, I might even do it a little lower. I'll do it here and here. And then we'll come over three or four. We'll do another one here, another one here. Oh, I found some string. I found some string. You ever find string? Make sure you get the string out of the pasture. You don't want string in your pasture. Gets tangled up in feet. Shit eats up. How you doing, OG? Red cow, you beautiful lady. There's Piglet. He looks like such an angry cow. He's such a happy cow, though. And of course, there's 236. And I constantly wonder if he's a little depressed. He's never really, this is honestly the closest he really gets to the herd. But, got a couple beautiful chickens running around. I'm a little shits. Picking through the cow shit. Picking through the grass, finding stuff to eat. Good girl, stay off my food bill, please. Then we got Rowdy Calf, get out of there. Rowdy Calf's over fucking around in the goddamn shit. She's gonna get tangled up. Dumb shit. I'm gonna have to go check on her. There's old Eve, or Dexter's. We'll go take a quick tour on the farm. I gotta go eat my eggs and taters and go to work already. How you doing, Evers? How you doing, baby girl? Huh? She's our two year old Dexter. She's gonna get bred here in about a month. Actually, she's supposed to get bred this month or next. Um, no, no. I take that back. We're breeding them in June or May. Whatever nine months before March is or April. Nine months before April. That's Butters. Butters is finally starting to lose a little bit of her butter fat. Starts to look like a regular cow. She's a good looking girl. Good looking feet. Uh, her feet are a little long, honestly. Oh, and here comes Rowdy Calf. Rowdy Calf! What are you doing, babies? What you doing, Rowdy Calf? Come here, baby girl. They say don't play with your food. That old euphemism didn't come from fucking people playing with little kids playing with their food at dinner. No, what they meant was don't play with your food as in don't go play with the cow that you gotta butcher one day. Yeah, I'm gonna cry like a baby the day old Rowdy Calf here has to go. The uh, We lost the bull calf and I only had him for like two or three weeks. And uh... Yeah, I cried pretty hard over him. I had a video, but it never uploaded to YouTube. It just sits there in pending world. So, honestly, I think I'll leave it there forever. Um, we did everything we could for baby bull calf. That's for sure. I mean, shit, we did everything for him that we were gonna. We did for Rowdy Calf, and Rowdy Calf did just fine. Plus, we put a lot more vet into old. Oh, he was 269 bull calf. And then here's old Eve again. And Butters. Butters is always real close to her sister. I think they're actually full sisters. And Rowdy Calf. We don't know what the fuck Rowdy Calf is. We don't know what Rowdy Calf is. She's pulled and everything. But kind of terrified there's a little jersey in her. Who knows. I think I'm going to mix her with uh, Dexter's and see if I can't get Dangus. Dexter mixed with Angus. Apparently they have a little better marbling. And they get a little bigger weight at slaughter time. So yeah that's the farm it's uh still rolling along somehow uh, a lot of work honestly it's not a somehow I know exactly how this farm's rolling along that's because every day I'm out here doing it so this morning we got things watered got the water run oh my phone's cold so it's not wanting to Stay zoomed on something. Um, got the water tanks filled for all the cows. 
Got the chickens waters done. Got chickens all the feeders filled up. De Anga or Dexter's, they still got plenty of food over there. This is uh, the chicken's number one hangout spot. So this is my cattle chute right here. You just pull that fence panel right there over a little bit, opens up and the cattle go back and there's a head chute back in there. But all the chickens like to hang out right on that thing. I got a two by four across there. Here, I can get in there. Yeah. Crap, I'm getting caught on barbed wire. You know, I didn't used to like that stuff till I started farming. Now I'm like, shit, I think everything should be barbed wire. But yeah, chicken's going through, pecking through the chicken pen, or through the cow lean to. See where that board comes down? I actually plan on running a two by four right across there. I'm actually doing a fence job today that uh, cuts a bunch of pickets into three foot. So I'll have three foot pickets coming down the whole way down that. So that'll be, that'll be real, real nice. Won't it girls? It'll be real, real nice, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, crazy fuckers. So yeah, here's the chickens. There's the Dexters. There's the Angus. There's some more chickens. There's the calf hutch. Calf hutch, which by the way, Rowdy Calf is now so big when she walks into her calf hutch. I almost need to cut this motherfucker right here where the scored out line is so she can keep going in and eating her, eating her hay or her grain at the end of the day. So, but, oh, tank's filled. That's always good. Good, good. I can run the water out of them and get to work. You guys have a good day.